Hey everybody, this is Maxine Taylor, and we are going to talk about Virgo, one of the most giving and one of the most, uh, one of the least appreciated signs of the zodiac because I don't think they appreciate themselves as much as really we appreciate them because they are the sign of service. They want to be needed. They are there to serve. They are no frills. There's nothing fussy about the Virgo. Now the Virgo knows that there are always problems and Virgo is the sign that's going to worry about them. Why? Because nobody else is going to. And so when Virgo wakes up in the morning and they have nothing to worry about, they are worried. They're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. They know that it's going to. It's just a question of time. So Virgos need to be needed is so strong and they are so grateful when they are needed because they're doing their service that if you say to them I need you they translate that as I love you and they are there for you if you invite your Virgo to your home for a dinner Virgo may arrive early they'll help you set the table they'll help you lay out the food they'll help you clean up afterwards and they may rearrange your silverware drawer just to make sure that everything is more easily accessible. That's just how they are. They tend to be very neat. Now I know that you know a Virgo who is in rebellion and is not neat. But traditionally Virgos are incredibly neat, uh, much neater than I am. Now Virgo figures out how to get the job done perfectly. If you want to know how to do something like fix a carburetor, ask your Virgo friend because Virgo will have figured it out and Virgo will tell you step one, step two, part A, B, C, step three and before you know it you'll know how to fix a carburetor. That's just how Virgo is. So Virgo, we appreciate you and so when we compliment you, it is best not to tell us why you do not deserve the compliment. Memorize these two words, thank you. That's all you got to say is thank you because we really do appreciate you and we really do need you. Now next time we're going to talk about Libra, okay?